So AP Calc, this just came off one of the multiple choice tests. So AP Cal, AB. Uh, it says a particle's acceleration for time is greater than or equal to zero is given by A of t is equal to 12t plus 4. The particle's initial position is 2, and its velocity at time is 1 is 5. What is the position of the particle at t is 2? So start off at the end, if you don't mind, <clears throat> that we're looking for a position. Our answer is going to be in the form of a position. And then I just did this. I realized that, that acceleration is actually the second derivative of position, isn't it? So it kind of gave me an idea that I was going to be going backwards a couple of times. So what I did was I went back to velocity, and I said that that velocity is equal to the integral of a of t, isn't it? So integral of 12t plus 4 dt. Remember, if this is free response, you're going to want to make sure your everything matches, right? From here, I can go ahead and integrate, can I? And I ended up getting v of t is equal to 6t squared plus 4t plus c. <clears throat> and if you don't mind, while I'm here, I'm just going to do this. We know that v of 1 is equal to 5, isn't it? Megan, is that okay? So from there, I'm just going to take that v of 1. So v of 1. And this is where I saw somebody's notes, and I wondered how they got their answer initially. So I got 6 times 1 squared plus 4 times 1 plus c is equal to 5. This goes to 10 plus c equals 5. <clears throat> and just some quick algebra, c is equal to negative 5, isn't it? <coughs> Everybody in agreement with that? So I'm just going to actually switch this out. I'm not going to worry about this too much, I guess. And I'm going to say that velocity is equal to 6t squared plus 4t minus 5. Right? So now I know I've used this piece of information that they gave us early on. So, okay, I, I use that piece of information. And remember also that they gave us this initial position of 2 at, at time is 0, right? So from here, I'm going to go backwards again. I'm going to say that position is the indefinite integral of v of t, isn't it? Which is equal to 6t squared plus 4t minus 5. I'm going to go ahead and integrate that. Am I doing okay? Oh, DT, thank you very much. And that would be really important, Alex, honestly. if Remember, there's going to be some points in there somewhere where we're going to go from a, from a 4 to a 5, and it's going to be those little places. So that's actually really good work. Thank you. I'm going to go ahead and integrate here, if you don't mind. I'm going to take this as, what does this go to? Does it go to 2T cubed, is that right? Plus 4. 4t squared minus 5t plus c. That's all good, isn't it? And that gives us that, doesn't it? Remember, though, that we know that s of 0, our initial position, is 2. So if I just take a quick look and I evaluate that, get 2, 0 cubed plus 2 times 0 squared minus 5 times 0. Again, if this was a multiple choice question, wouldn't be messing with all this crap, would you? But because I'm doing this as if it was a free response, I want to write my calculus out. Plus C is equal to 2. Therefore, C is equal to 2, isn't it? And to save you the time, I'm just going to put that C in right here, if you don't mind. And now I'm going to evaluate what? Now evaluate what? S of 2, right? Because that's, remember, got to keep in mind that we have to be going towards our question. The question is, what is the position, right? Make sure that when we finish, that we answered the question. The question is, what is the position of the particle at t equals 2? So we finally have our, we finally have our position function. So we have 2 times 2 cubed plus 2 times 2 squared minus 5 times 2 plus the 2. Isn't that right? Which I believe gives us 16, doesn't it? 
Is that good math? Okay. So I'll post this on that re on the um, on the review playlist. And remember that we have to be studying the stuff that looks most like the test, don't we?